The Void Trader has reappeared. Barrow Katia can be found on the Cronai Relay, which is, of course, on Saturn on all platforms. And by that, I do mean theoretically on all platforms. So let's jump in and see what he has I brought. There is the Rhino Palatine Sigil. Yeah. Buzzkill, 120% slash for melee. Primed Tactical Pump, 100% reload speed for shotguns. There is the... I'm just going to put it as the EOS Prime shoulder plates. There is both of them. The EOS Prime chest plate. The EOS Prime spurs. There is both of them. They do have to be bought separately, same as the shoulder plates, sadly. But not the entire lot together. That does also exist. It should appear at the same time as them. Don't know why it doesn't. There is Prime Target Cracker. 110% crit damage for pistols. The Katia Sandana. I do actually, this is kind of growing on me, and I don't know why. The Katia Arrow Skin, it's an arrow skin, it goes on to pretty much any bow. Not crossbow, normal bows, and it's just a skin that goes on to your arrows. There is the Supra Vandal, if you do not have this, it's always worth picking this up. It is quite a fun little weapon. 3D Resource Booster, that can also be really useful. Because if you are going farming for a resource, this is a great way to get a resource booster without having to use platinum. There is the Katia Atmos Diadem. If you are only choosing one weapon, I would have to say the Prisma Twin Gremlins, if you are going against the Grenier, would be way better. They can also pin enemies to a wall, which is great. Actually, it says pristine Grenier sidearms. But they're more... They probably do. Just simply because they pin enemies to walls. Better than the Supra. And they do puncture damage. The Lisette Sidonia skin. I do like the effect on it. Prisma 1. Kind of done to death at this point. The Direga Desert Camo skin. I have not used that Sentinel in quite some time. Pack Leader Emblem. Emblems, of course, being what goes on your arms. Sigils everywhere else. The Katia Ephemera. There is the Deimos Prex card for the... Yeah, I ain't even touching that pronunciation with a barge pole. The Imperium Vignetti for your personal quarters. Gov and Latrox poster. Landing craft decoration. I do like the fact that you can put these things backwards and it actually backwards the writing. <laughs> there is the Cult Spear skin. Um... It's better than the sword skin. Because it's actually got a point. The sword skin just looks like a, a stick. A blunt stick. The New War Teshin statue. And I still do not agree with this one. For a handful of different reasons. But that is spoiler specific. The Sands of Anaurus blueprint. There is the Fear Path of Femra, And of course if you come to see him with Anaurus Prime equipped. As well as special chatter with Barrow Katia that I'm not going to spoil because it's different every time. There is also the Barrow Void Signal allows you to do a mission protecting Barrow on a Void Tile Set, the Defense Void Tile Set. And he has a chance to drop the Elixir's Armor from that. It is tradable, it is stackable, so you can have many of these, but you can only pick up one every time he is here. He is, of course, as usual, only here for two days, so if he has brought something... You do have two days to get in to pick it up before Sunday. Still sucks the fact that the EOS Prime set isn't there. And yes, I don't have one leg on purpose. So don't worry if you cannot get on before he leaves. Everything will cycle back through. Back and with soon. that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.